what is spirituality? It is not a series of rituals or ceremonies or chants or prayers. It's not about the robes that you wear. Spirituality just means pertaining to spirit, connected to spirit, focused on spirit. So a spiritual life is not about where you worship, what language you worship in, how you pray, how you believe in the divine. Spirituality simply says, you are spirit. I am spirit. See, the materialistic viewpoint, because there's two ways of looking at the world, either spiritually or materially. Those are your options. Either you are matter or your spirit. And the materialistic viewpoint says you are matter. You are that body, its size, its shape, its color, its height, its weight, all of that. And this is my body right here. And then it, it ends here. And then there's this empty space. And then you're over there. And that's your body, its size, its shape, its color, its height, its weight, its volume. And then there's empty space. And then there's her body over there. And the materialistic viewpoint turns us into objects. We're just objects sitting in empty space. The spiritual viewpoint says, you have a body. The body has a size, the body has a shape, but you are not that body. You're not the color, you're not the height, you're not the weight, you're none of that. You are the spirit that flows through that body. You are that which is unchanging. The body keeps changing. You grow, maybe you diet, you shrink, maybe you change what you look like. You grow this way, you grow that way. Body keeps changing. But the spirit in you does not. So spirituality says there is no place I end and the world begins because we're one. There is no empty space between us. I am spirit. You are spirit. We are interconnected, interlinked, interlocked. And what's interesting is the spiritual viewpoint is very much the same of what advanced science is telling us today. If you look at any of us under an electron microscope, you're not going to see borders and boundaries of skin and bone and this is where I end and then empty space. You're going to see whirling, twirling electrons. It's energy. So that's all spirituality says is stop thinking of yourself as just an object. Stop thinking of others as objects. Because when you view yourself as an object, you suffer because then all of your meaning in life and your happiness and your joy and your success is all based on that object. Spirituality says you have a body. Love it, celebrate it, honor it, but don't identify as it. Just like if you were driving down the road and somebody calls you and says, who are you? And you say, oh, I'm exit 51. They're going to say, no, no, no. Not where are you? Who are you? And then if you say, oh, now I'm exit 52, they're going to think that either you can't hear them, that your phone is staticky, out of range, or that you've gone crazy. Because we know we're not our vehicles. Spirituality says you are also not your body. So spirituality shifts us from a viewpoint of I to a viewpoint of we. And when I becomes we, then illness individually in our communities, in our societies, in our world, illness becomes wellness. Think about it. I, illness, you substitute that I for we, illness becomes wellness. Not just in the word but actually in our life. So spirituality takes us from thinking about I as a separate object to thinking about we as a collective. We are connected. Spirituality takes us from thinking 
just about what's going to fill our shelf, all the things that we're going to buy, all of the titles and degrees and awards and whatnot, to actually thinking about ourself. Who am I? Who am I? To discovering that fullness of yourself. Otherwise, our shelves are full. But our experience of self is empty. So spirituality shows us the fullness of yourself. Spirituality teaches us to stop asking, what for me? Otherwise, that's how most of us move through the world. What for me? What's in it for me? What am I going to get? And spirituality says, not what for me, but what through me? How can I? Be a vehicle, a vessel, a channel for goodness, for grace, for healing, for help on this planet. So don't worry about spirituality putting you in some kind of a box that says every Saturday morning you've got to do this or every Friday evening you have to do that or you have to say this or chant this or read that or sit with your eyes closed for a certain amount of time. It doesn't say anything like that. It just says... Stop thinking about yourself and others as objects and start realizing you are spirit. You are not separate. You are not small. You are not finite. You are infinite and you are interconnected and you are one with all that exists.